No Goliath tarantula yet. Oh, ooh, but looks like I found some cows. But I don't want to be a moo cow for Halloween. Oh, yeah, I know how you feel. I'm tired too. Oh, maybe I'll just rest here with you for a sec. Uh, mm, uh, <laughs> <gasps> a vampire bat! <laughs> Ew. <laughs> You're not scary. More like a little creepy. And totally cool. Oh, look at that nose. Specially designed for sensing heat. The heat of blood. Blood is what a vampire bat eats. And that's what he's searching for. Hey, Aviva, you getting this? I sure am. Let's break it down. The vampire bat is drawn to the heat of the blood that flows near the surface of the cow's skin. When the bat finds the spot, Q razor sharp teeth. He nips the neck with his incisors. Blood flows. The bat licks up the blood. Blood is the vampire bat's number one food. Oh, and check it out. The vampire bat has a special grooved tongue that is really good at licking up blood. The special formula of the bat's spit, or saliva, keeps the blood flowing. Oh, they can drink two tablespoons of blood in around 20 minutes. That's a full meal for the vampire bat. Not enough blood to harm the cow, who's still sleeping, by the way, but enough to give the vampire bat the meal it needs to survive. Uh-oh, but with a full belly, the vampire bat has to rest a while before it takes off. But he can still walk around oh, and run. Oh, you know, a vampire bat is the only bat in the world who can run and jump? Oh, cool. Look at him go. Ooh, he looks really creepy cool. Increíble. That is amazing. Vampire bat powers are some unusual and interesting creature powers. Oh, yeah, they're going to make a great Halloween creature power suit for Chris. <gasps> Let's surprise him. He's going to love it. 